the Oracle Report for Saturday, July 6th through Sunday, July 7th, 2019. This is a very long report, and you can read the report at oraclereport.com where uh, all of the times that I'm mentioning in this report are listed. Okay, we are in the crescent moon phase, and that's the time of the cycle that we want to persevere through challenges. The moon is in Virgo. The skill is to be rock solid. True alignments are things that are time tested, considering cause and effect, self control, bringing good cheer, caring, responsible, trusting one's instincts, updating, reanalyzing, creating beauty. And if you capture a photo, a good nature photo this weekend, please send it to me. Helpful, humanitarianism, love of nature, and following one's path and being oneself. Catalysts for change are dissatisfied, feelings of failure, hypercritical of self and or others, overanalyzing, trying to overcontrol something, quick to judge, wasted opportunity, the need to prove something, over the top and off the ledge, ageism, unable to see a bigger and brighter picture, foolish, devaluing and discarding, overindulging, and jealousy. Remember that the Sabian symbol for the solar lunar month is a clown caricaturing well-known personalities. That's about exaggeration of things in order to show us the truth very clearly. The Sabian symbol for the solar lunar year, fairies dancing in the setting sun, sunset on the archontic control systems. Is it me, or has this seemed like the longest week ever? Makes me think of the movie Dark City. Who's messing with time? Just trying to add a little humor. I'm clowning around, adding some humor to a weekend of black moon transits that are being activated by the moon. Actually, I'm procrastinating. It's late Friday night, so I beg your indulgence. It is my intention that anyone reading or listening to this has everything they need to take this weekend's energetics and, with the fluidity of a Jedi, turn any negative situation, mindset, feeling, or whatever, turn anything negative that crops up into a positive one. This report is total overkill. It is meant primarily for people who are sun signs Pisces or Virgo and those with the moon, Chiron, or the black moon in Pisces or Virgo. To some extent, everyone will be experiencing the energies, but the Pisces Virgo people are most on duty, so to speak, right now. I say on duty like they're on watch because they are. They are the closers. They are closing out a massive era of darkness that began on March 23, 2011. So, the following is, in turn, a massive amount of data that you can refer to if you start to encounter any difficulties this weekend, like a, draft, a drastic shift or decline in your mood, energy, outlook, and trust for the future, feelings about humanity, or questioning the divine. You can correlate the time of events or feelings that you might have with the astrology at that time and hopefully pull out from any arconic maneuverings trying to hold us back. Any part of this report may help, not necessarily just the part that correlates to the time that something happens. Energy moves in waves. Remember that any time we have black moon days like we do this weekend, Everyone's own natal black moon or core fear in life is activated to some degree. And you can see my free ebook on the black moon for more information about that. Three key things to keep in mind this weekend. Number one, Mercury is stationing retrograde on Sunday. This brings problems with communication, telecommunication, electronics, and travel. Two, The moon will activate the south node Saturn-Pluto conjunction that is in process until January 2020, and this is 
epic transformation of all structures and systems, including the structure and systems of our bodies. Three, the sun is reactivating the new moon in Aries, the start of the astrological year that began on April 5th, 2019. It's the first of two years of the fall of the Archons, and this will agitate Archonic energies, and they will respond by acting out. Three underlying themes. One, satisfaction versus dissatisfaction. Questions about how satisfying things really are arise. True motivations become evident. Two, unrestricted versus boxed in. Are limits being placed? Are we self-limiting? What is limitless? Anything that is constricting us, including our own thoughts, becomes evident if you look. And three, standoffs. Who is controlling whom? The potential for conflict and aggression is high. Hypermasculine energetics are pervasive, especially the energy of competition, including competition for attention. People are easily triggered. All of this is a recipe for chaos and strife, or it is a rare chance to see and then remove whatever is blocking us from peace, health, and happiness. And this means anything that limits us, but it probably means something about ourselves. The black moon is devoted to renaissance and rebirth, and it will Im impose life conditions and circumstances in order to achieve this. So this is a lot of astrological activity for one weekend. Ultimately, the black moon always makes things better. Wise owls remember this. So this report may sound like it is um, pointing out more of the, the negative um, or lower octave of things, and that's just so that I can get across the practical information. Um, as far as being, um, it's, this is really what the work is, is to turn what we have into something better. And there, there are natural things happening to help us with this, but as I said, I hope that what I've put down in here will be of help to you if you're having any trouble. So the timetable for Saturday, 6 a.m. Eastern Time, tip off the moon will sextile Venus. It's tip off time for potential interpersonal arguments and conflicts with Venus discharging a cat arguing with a mouse. Avoid traps that may be set by too much talking which is intended to obscure or confuse. We want to count our blessings and opportunities. 10.24 a.m. Eastern Time, Moon Trine Uranus. This is potential for accidents, shocks, or surprises, and earth events. Things may cleave deeply. Wounds from the past may try to assert control over thoughts and emotions. This is merely prompting a shift or a change to occur, regardless of how it seems now. We are in the summer of all retrogrades, which is like a massive do-over. 12.05 p.m. Eastern Time. Moon opposition, black moon. There's a tendency for a repeat of, quote, mistakes, what we think are mistakes, and the tendency to be, to try and be perfect. The best advice for any black moon transit is to rest and let the energy do its work. There's no point in struggling against it with loops of mental chatter. We may feel out of our depth in some way, but this is just the normal reaction when things are changing. With this energetic, change is good and new is good. The timetable for Sunday. 12.49 a.m. Eastern Time, Moon Sextile the Sun. Answers are found in written information, particularly older books. Is there a book that has been on your mind to reread? Is there something you've been wanting to research or learn about? Today, wisdom guides us to find what we need. 5 of 5 a.m. Eastern Time, Moon trines the South Node and Saturn. Is someone or something trying to trick us or pull a fast one? The old ways, ways based on control, no longer work. Is this more of the same old thing? And what is happening in the UK today? 
7.10 a.m. Eastern Time, Moon, Opposition, Neptune. Racing, competition, winning, trying to impress, making a big show or display. Emotions may be quite strong and pressured. What is surfacing or showing itself? What's rearing its head? Remember that shadow sides are strong this weekend, which means there's a tendency to project onto others what we cannot face or deal with in ourselves. 12.49 p.m. Eastern Time, Moon Trine Pluto. What deserves appreciation and recognition? Is fearlessness needed? Is someone, something, or some place being rushed? Is, so, is something a three-ring circus? Take yourself out of the scene if necessary. And finally, 7.15 p.m. Eastern Time at Mercury Stations Retrograde at 5 degrees of Leo <clears throat> and the Sabian symbol of rock formations tower over a deep canyon. The structural integrity of people, places, and things will change while Mercury is retrograde through August 1st. Leaps of faith may be necessary. Mercury retrograde types of issues with communications, plans, travel, and electronics may be heightened Monday morning. With that, wise owls, I will just close by saying let's rock on and transmute some energy this weekend. Safe travels, everyone.